Now listen, Sinke. Listen, we're about, we're about to bring you a case before the highest court in our land. We're about to do battle with a lion that is threatening to rip our country in two. Huh? And all we have on our side is a rock. Of course, you didn't ask to be at the center of this uh, historic conflagration any more than I did, but we find ourselves here nonetheless by some uh, mysterious mix of circumstances and uh, now all the world watching. So, uh, what are we to do? Huh? We won't be going in there alone. Alone, indeed not. No, we have right at our side. We have righteousness at our side. I met my ancestors. I will call into the past. Far back to the beginning of time. And beg them to come and help me. At the judgment. I will reach back and draw them into me. And they must come. For at this moment, I am the whole reason they have existed at all. What are we to do with that? Embarrassing, annoying document. The Declaration of Independence. One of its conceits. All men created equal and inalienable rights, life, liberty, and so on and so forth. The other night I was talking with my friend Sinke. He was over at my place and uh, we were out in the greenhouse together. And he was explaining to me how when a member of the Mende, this is people, how when a member of the Mende encounters a situation where there appears no hope at all, he invokes his ancestors. It's tradition. You see, the Mende believe that if one can summon the spirit of one's ancestors, then they have never left. And the wisdom and strength they fathered and inspired will come to his aid. James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington. John Adams. We have long resisted asking you for guidance. Perhaps we have feared in doing so. We might acknowledge that our individuality, which we so, so revere, is not entirely our own. Perhaps we have feared in an appeal to you might be taken for weakness. But we have come to understand, finally, that this is not so. We understand now. We've been made to understand and to embrace the understanding that who we are is who we were.